I got it. So we're going that way? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Alrighty, let's go for a ride. Okay, it's a beautiful, well another beautiful February day. I'm in Nottingham, I'm with my buddy Keith, who's ahead of me right now, on his K100, and we're going to go out for a bit of a ride. Keith's a, a local guy, so he knows the roads better than me, so I'm just going to take, the, take in the weather enjoy the sunshine and I thought I'd bring you guys along with me. This is the, going to be the first proper ride since my uh, bike had its service and I'm over the moon that it got a clean bill of health. I just clocked uh, the MG Metro over there. My dad and mum bought one of those back in the day. Brand new. So yeah, um, clean bill of health. I just had an advisory on uh, my tyres as I was expecting but I still got three mils in the front and the back so I might not be uh, replacing them as quick as I initially intended and uh, my rear pads uh, half worn but that's it everything else is absolutely fine it feels like this is going to be a bit of a magical mystery tour for me I've got absolutely no idea where I'm going to go I'll tell you something else though Keith is fast on that K100 I can't keep up with him <laughs> he's got so much confidence on that bike or any bike for that matter he took out the uh, the GS yesterday and I went on the K100. First time I've ridden the K100, so it puts me in a good stead for when I take out mine. And uh, he was just flying on this bike. And I was surprisingly comfortable on the K100. Just had to adjust myself to that different riding position. Other than that, it's absolutely fine. <laughs> Bumpy roads. Still got issues with my uh, NAV5. It's got no satellite reception. I spoke to the guys at Roy Pidcock yesterday and they uh, said to me what I was pretty much expecting to hear. Check the firmware update. So I thought I, uh, I was all up to date, but I'm gonna have to do that when I get home. But it's uh, very frustrating. Oh, wow. Oh, hot old. Where are you taking me? <laughs> Still uh, in the process of um, mulling over that uh, test ride on the, the 1250 yesterday. And uh, yeah, it truly was an awesome, or well, truly is an awesome machine. And I can't get away with how impressive that uh, TFT screen is. I loved that thing, I thought it was brilliant. And uh, I was running, uh, or riding on I should say, the Bridgestone uh, Battle Axe tyres, I believe they are A41s. They were brilliant, they were really, really good. And, oh that's good, thank you. Yeah, the Battle Axe uh, A41s, they were impressive tyres um, and uh, one of the Team Up team crew on Facebook uh, has mentioned to me about uh, him recently fitting those tyres on his uh, GSA, so it was uh, pretty cool riding on a, a set of those and uh, I remember riding on them, remembering how confident I was feeling on, uh, on the bike and uh, I mean, you know, it was probably a mixture of the bike, but also obviously the tyre. So that uh, is promising. So when I do come to change the tyres, I think I may, may go for them. It was certainly food for thought. Oh, I think I've been there. Yep, ridden to that pub. Very pretty around here. I think that uh, K100 just looks brilliant on the on the road uh, it's so much fun to ride it's just uh, the power uh, on that uh, thousand flat four it's just mind-boggling I mean it's a 30 year old bike but it shifts so fast yeah it was uh, it's an impressive bit of kit considering its age and uh, I'm really uh, really keen to get mine out on the road now after all the work I've done on it I just need uh, an MOT as uh, you know, it uh, expired, I think I may have already mentioned this in a previous video, it, it expired in October, so I need to get it down for that. And uh, I believe the front tyre 
either needs uh, replacing or fixed. Other than that, it's good to go. But yeah, the last uh, two days have been brilliant. Brilliant couple of days uh, riding and had fantastic weather. I mean, it peaked out at 17 degrees yesterday. So, so warm. Perfect riding condition. So yeah, riding three different types of bikes yesterday, including this, and finishing the day off hanging out with two very good friends and their uh, little boy with a, a good film and a, and a pizza. Pretty good day, pretty good day. So big thanks to Ollie and Georgie for their hospitality last night. Really appreciate it. Would you look at this? How pretty is this? <laughs> wow, so pretty. I'm really hoping that this uh, weather pulls through for a tour of Wales, which is in about 10 days time. I doubt that it will be, knowing our luck. <laughs> but uh, you can always be help, uh, hopeful. But either way, we'll make the best of it. Wow, look at that place. Watch him go. I'm sure he's going to book it in a minute. <laughs> yep, I've lost him. <laughs> oh, oh, come on, <laughs> move out of the way. Thanks, buddy. You are a bit of a Come up. Right. What a view. Oh. It's so weird doing follow the leader without any comms. Oh wow, it's very pretty down here. Are we going here, Keith? I hope we are. This looks great. Oh, what's that? Is that a Ducati? Oh, Triumph. Speed triple. We parking? Howdy. This place is amazing. Yeah. I think we're taking in the views. And why not? And why not? Oh, really? Okay. <coughs> what a great place. <laughs> yeah. Keith has said he's got a, a tell the tell the people he's got a drinks problem. Okay, there's you one. And there's you one. That's a mighty nice looking speed triple or street triple, I'm not too sure. But great looking bikes. Always with the gloves. Always with the gloves. It's a mapped thing. Onwards and upwards. Whoa! That was way too close for comfort. I got my, I uh, just realised, I got my licence back uh, two weeks ago today. Uh, got this flown by and I've popped up 800 miles. That's not too shabby. I'm quite pleased about that. 800 miles in a, I don't know, that's what, four or five rides? See, I'm pretty keen to get the miles in, in the saddle just to build that confidence up. Ball coat. Wow, that's a pretty church. Look at that. Oh dear, it's just good for the soul. I picked this up yesterday. I don't know if you can spot by the camera, 
but Keith rides with his feet on the rear, the rear sets, and he finds it more uh, more comfortable. And I just always think, or makes it, just reminds me of Mad Max, the first film, because uh, all the guys in uh, in that film will have their feet way back on the bikes. It looks really cool, I think. Going back to the old um, 1250, for me, I'm infinitely more comfortable on the, the Aventure than the, the, the standard GS. Just the way the, the seats are set up and the, where the pegs are. And, uh, I don't know what the key differences are. I think it's the, uh, I think it's mainly to do with the seat. But, you know, it's all, I think a big part of bikes is how you feel on them as in comfort. And yeah, it's the, the, the adventure is just that sweet spot for me. But uh, uh, as I've said probably a million times, it would be the rally variation of the standard GS with the, that rally seat or solo seat, I would, uh, I would opt for. But I was just uh, popped into my head about how comfortable I am right now. Here you go, girl. Oh, I think I know where we are. Yeah, I know where we are. Come full loop. Heading back in the city now. Hey, nice bike. <laughs> just thought, Keith, we should have swapped. We should have swapped at the pub. So we're heading back now to, to as I said, take two. So we're heading back now into town and uh, we're aiming for a pub lunch. Oh man, he's booking it. And uh, that'll be good, because I'm looking forward to that. Then I'm heading back out, Manchester bound over the peaks. So uh, I'm going to cut it off here, because it's uh, not going to be very interesting going through traffic. We all see enough of that, don't we, in our day-to-day -day lives. And uh, we'll pick it up, Manchester bound. See you in a bit. Get me off this motorway. Oh. 